Peace, Hugh Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray ball. And this is HQ Videos for you. And today we're starting a video back in Brandy Mall in Brandy, Florida. And instead of picking something up, I'm actually dropping something off. I'm dropping off Spectrum's expensive ass cable box and getting rid of their cable. You know, like everybody else got hooked up with that $99 bundle deal, which was cable and internet. But after tax fees and everything else, you end up getting like 140 bucks. And in the past couple months, it jumped from 140 bucks to like 170 bucks. I'm um, like, yeah, you can suck my know what. Take this cable box. Uh, also, when I was at the mall at three, exchange uh, a shirt for my son. My wife got match matching Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai as in the Karate Kid. Cobra Kai t-shirts. His was a little bit too small. So she got a size bigger. Well, I'm returning the shirt so we get a size bigger. <coughs> oh, the, sh the store. Just kind of looking around and checking what they had. A lot of really cool stuff. Again, I'm not really big into pop stuff, but they have some really cool pops here. So we got LeBron James. really cool movie in it. For, for this week's video, uh, we're going to hit a couple big lots, uh, a couple pawn shops. Uh, so, you know the routine. Sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. Before I head into Big Lots, I've always seen this pawn shop and decided to go in there and as soon as I went in, I pretty much turned around and walked out, they didn't have anything. It was kind of guns and crappy looking jewelry. So we're going to head out to Big Lots, haven't been out here in a minute, and check out their video section. I've been watching some Facebook pages and seeing some people get some stuff from Big Lots. Wow. They don't have shit. What happened to their collection? Okay. Are they gonna stop carrying physical media too? Oh, it's pretty empty. over their clearance section and this is looking as equally as depressing as their main video section uh, maybe I should add big lots to the list of stores not carrying physical media I'm good about yourself.
That's the plan. You take credit card or just cash? No cash only. Okay, not a problem. On my way to the pawn shop, leaving the expressway, we actually saw this big lots uh, on the way to the pawn shop. So maybe this big lots is a little bit better than the one back in Brandon. So 
decided to give it a shot and see what they have. This thing actually has a better camera than my actual Sony. Uh -huh. This thing actually has a better camera than my Sony. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. This technology is improving that quickly now. We were back at the Black Cave. Actually, had a very productive day out in Ruskin. Uh, this is what I picked up at the pawn shop in Ruskin. This is at the Big Lots at Ruskin. And this is my, these are my imports from eBay, 3D imports. So let me get these lined up and uh, we'll get right into it. We're gonna start this off with the Limey, Terrence Stamp, Leslie Ann Warren, Louise Guzman, Barry Newman and Peter Fonda. I haven't seen this in a long time. Very good, I believe English gangster movie. Um, I actually have the disc, but I didn't have the artwork. So this is definitely worth the pickup. And by the way, uh, the whole lot from this was like $25. So I think I got like, I don't know, 60 movies. So this. Have the artwork. And the disc. The limey. Next we have Bad Business Bad Business with Master P. Tracy Bingham. I haven't seen her in a while. And Brent Huff. I believe I've seen this a long time ago. I had the disc and have the artwork. Um, love Master P. I think he's a great kind of rags to riches story. Uh, coming from New Orleans, uh, one of the wars in New Orleans, and kind of becoming the person that he is and helping some of the people that he grew up with. Bad business artisan release. And I believe the last one is two artisan releases. Another one, I think I've seen this. If, it, if I did, it's been a while ago. Love Willing to Fall. Uh, Robert Rodriguez, Donnie Wahlberg, and 
the uh, bullfighter. Another one where I had the artwork, but did not have, excuse me, had the disc, didn't have the artwork. And this looks like a Screen Media Films release. Bullfighter. I actually have some of the artwork in here for the episode guide. Bullfighter. Next, the main thing that caught my eye was Wes Craven's Chiller. And I like Paul Sorvino. Um, I'm trying to think. First thing that comes to mind, the movie he did with uh, Chris Tucker. Uh, I can't think of the name of that, though. But it looks interesting for the price I paid for it, less than 50 cents. It's definitely worth a look. Paul Sorvino it looks like a quality picture release. It's like an old DVD. Wes Craven's Chiller. Next, looks like an old school Steven Seagal. This looks like, uh, I think when you start getting the hair plugs or whatever he does to cover up his bald spot. Not hating because I shaved my head though, but when it's time to go, sometimes it's time to let it go. Uh, this is a stage six release. Slip cover, pistol whip, Steven Seagal. And this is a Sony release, stage six Sony release. <clears throat> Next, blind buy looked interesting, especially the tagline Hostile meets the science of the lambs in the horrific murder mystery. Brutal. It's a Lions Gate release. And that looks good with any well, I know that guy from The Hills Has Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes. Brutal. Next we have Road Dogs. This looks kind of like a Latino Boys in the Hood type of movie. Uh He's familiar. I think that's Clifton Collins Jr. I believe I'm not positive. Jacob Vargas and Greg Serrano. Blood, Guts, and Turf. This is another artisan release. A lot of artisans in this batch. Road dogs. Artwork. And I looked at the discs. Most of the discs are in pretty decent condition. They're pretty good about what they accept and what they don't accept at this pawn shop. And I have that, Way of the Gun, really good movie, Benicio Del Toro, of course, Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs, Hot Boys, that's Master P, East Side, I think that's another Latino gangster movie. Don't have Drive By, never heard that, and of course, Jet Li and Black Mask. Road Dogs. Next, I love hip hop. Um, All the people, of course, you have Wu Tang, Chuck D, a lot of Dark Man. Most of the other guys I'm not really that familiar with. Roots Maneuver, I'm not sure who that is. But I'm always interested. To, I'm always interested in finding new obscure hip hop, especially if it's actually decent stuff. Didn't come with the CD tracks, it's just the DVD tracks. Oh, nope, this is just a CD. I didn't get the DVD. Ah. Or did I? Oh, no, no. I did. Okay. The DVD and the CD. I'm taking myself out. And this is a classic picture release, I believe. Hip Hop The Collection. Next. Naquo... Naquo, Naquo Cats, I guess that's the name of it. Um, Steven Soderbergh, that kind of caught my attention. And yeah, looks like an interesting movie. It's a Miramac release. Looks like it's kind of a sci-fi type of movie. 
And if your mind knows how to pronounce this, let me know, please. Next, we have the Glory Boys. I picked this up because, specifically because of Anthony Perkins. I've uh, been an Anthony Perkins fan since Psycho, the Alfred Hitchcock classic. Um, he's a very unusual actor. Um, I thought this might be interesting. It's an HBO video release, The Glory Boys. So it's like a suspense thriller. I love my classic comedy. This is Last from the Hood, Volume 1. Chris Rock, Dio Hughley, Steve White, John, the late John Witherspoon, Witherspoon uh, Michael Collier, AJ Jamal, and more. And this is a Lionsgate release. You have Kim Coles from The Living Single, Pops from Fridays, Michael Collier also from Fridays, Steve White from Do the Right Thing, uh, D.L. Hughley, and Chris Rock. Laughs from the Hood. And with that cast, it should be relatively funny. Preacher's Kid, uh, Latoya Luckett. I know she is a R&B singer. Clifton Powell. I recognize the name. He looks familiar. I know her. Not sure what her name is. It's a Warner Brothers release. Release Preacher's Kid. And couldn't pass this up. Uh, 50 movie pack DVD collection has all the classics on there. Um, Jekyll and Hyde, um, Dementia 13, Nasratu, Phantom of the Opera with Lon Chaney. So, really couldn't pass this up. And the disc, let's give you an example. They look very pristine. If you hear something knocking, it's the cat's trying to get in. Hold on. You happy now? Don't get back out. Alright. So it's a 50 horror classic. And this is a Mill Creek release. If you wore classics. Now, the only Blu rays I picked up from there have the double pack Too Young to Die For with Brad Pitt and Juliet, Lu- Juliet Lewis. And I believe I already have this on another multi disc Blu ray. I'm pretty sure I didn't have this. I know I had the Yards on DVD, but I did not have it on Blu ray. So I pretty much got this for the Blu-ray. Big cast, Mark Wahlberg, Faye Dunaway, Joaquin Phoenix, Charlize Theron, and the legendary James Caan. And this is the Echo Bridge. Echo Bridge release. The Yards and Too Young to Die For. (coughs) Next, I actually picked this up a while ago on DVD. And nice to upgrade to Blu-ray. Haven't watched this yet. Rachel McAdams, Harrison Ford, Dan Keaton, and Morning Glory. And this is a Paramount release. Morning Glory. This is my wife, one of my wife's favorite movies. I don't know how many times she's actually seen this. I have not yet watched this though. Tom Cruise and The Last Samurai. She says it's a decent amount of action in there so I'll have to check this out and if you've seen any of these please leave a a note in the comment if I should hurry up and watch The Last Samurai or put it on the back burner Tom Cruise The Last Samurai Warner Brothers release Orlando Bloom Riley Keough and The Good Doctor The Good Doctor Do No Harm says Orlando Bloom becomes very, very bad for one of his best roles. I have not seen this. I do like Orlando Bloom. I 
nice artwork on the disc. It's a Magnolia release, The Good Doctor. And these are my Ruskin pickups. Next, I'm gonna go with my eBay 3D imports. This week, I only have two 3D Blu-rays. First one is the Planet Dinosaur 3D Ultimate Colors. It's the BBC release. Haven't had a chance to actually pick this, pick this, put this in. Ugh. Haven't had a chance to put this in to actually check out the 3D. So I'm really not familiar with BBC 3D movies. So I'm probably gonna do this right after I get through with you guys. So we have the BBC Planet Planet Dinosaurs, the Ultimate Killers. And the other 3D release I have, as a matter of fact, it's still in the wrapper here. Casper Van Dien, the he was at one point the um, B actor king. He might be actually a C actor now. And Michael Beach and Del Horse do him. Um, I'm guessing that's the horror, the horrible storm. I don't speak German. I'm assuming that's German. It's just 3D. Give me a second. Let me take this off so you can actually see the disc. That looks like the guy from Lost. And now it's the guy from uh, the 100. Hold on. And if it's a sign, let me know it's low budget, though. And we have the 3D disc. The Horror Storm. 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 And these two make up my 3D pickup for the week. eBay. And lastly... I picked up from Big Lots. Started out with the ABCs of Death. I'd actually seen this online. Um, thought I had it for some reason, but I don't. Matter of fact, let me open all these up because all these are still in the case. Give me a second. Okay, I have this open now. Nice artwork on the Blu-ray. 26 Directors, 26 Ways to Die, ABCs of Death. Looks very interesting. I might actually watch, the, watch this this afternoon. And just to clarify, these are, this is the big lot of Ruskin, not the big lot of Brandon, the first location, the first big lot. This was big lots of Ruskin, but the ABCs of Death. Next, I actually got the DVD, if I recall correctly, at Dollar Tree. So, definitely worth the upgrade, but this was either three or five dollars. Denzel Washington, Roman J. Israel, Esquire. I haven't watched this yet. I heard it's really good. So, of course, it's Denzel, so Denzel is kind of hard to be bad. They'll have the digital and nice artwork on the Blu ray Roman J. Israel, Esquire. And next, I've seen this before, I've actually seen people pick this up at Dollar Tree. I haven't found it in my Dollar Tree. I saw this in Hamilton Bookstore for I think $4.99. Saw this at Big Lots, though, but so without the slip cover. I saw the slip cover at five bucks. It was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. Either three or five bucks. I forgot how much I paid for it. And let me see. This is and Simon Pegg, so he probably just has a cameo appearance in there. But ne ne nevertheless, it still looks interesting. Kill me three times. I do like the artwork magnet has on there on their disc. He looks familiar. Maybe I'll watch this too. Kill me three times. And to end the pickups for today B 
beyond a reasonable doubt. And yes, I know you can pick this up Columbia for like three or four bucks, but excuse me, I know you can pick this up on eBay for like three or four bucks, but if you do, I think it's the Columbia Pictures version, not the Anchor Bay version. Yeah, I don't know how Columbia, it seems like I saw online Columbia Pictures released it, but the original one was Anchor Bay, so it's an out of print release. <clears throat> and I can't remember if I've seen this or not. If I have, it's been years. Michael Douglas, Jesse Metcalf, Amber Tamblin, Reasonable Doubt. And this was my Ruskin pickup for the week. Uh, you know, the this part of the video. Let me release the disc from their plastic, uh, put the artwork in their folders, and get you guys on your way. Hold on. I have everything scanned into my CLZ Movies app. That's C's in Charlie, L's in Lima, Z's in Zebra. I have everything laid out, ready to go back in its proper place. And as usual, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to hang out with me. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It doesn't cost anything. I'm not going to bother you. And plus, you'll be helping me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. So please like, share, subscribe. If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.